you need to be aware of this manipulation tactic by the narcissist or it will cost you big time. There's two manipulation tactics that the narcissist will use together in order to produce their desired end result of increasing their levels of control over your life. And that is narcissistic luring followed by narcissistic gaslighting. So narcissistic luring is like when you're fishing with a fishing lure, right? Think you throw the lure in and the goal is to hook the fish and to reel the fish in, right? So that way you can do what you want with the fish, which is usually eat it, right? Well, the narcissist does this by saying something or doing something that they know is going to push your buttons. They know how to get underneath your skin. And what they're really wanting to do is get you highly emotional, even though that's not your norm, even though you're actually a pretty stable person, they want to get you freaking out by pushing that button that just that one thing that just makes you super upset so then they can gaslight you which gaslighting is them questioning your sanity or questioning your character questioning whether you're a good person or not they can sit back and say see look how unstable that you are and then that also simultaneously feeds the narcissist need to feel superior over their supply and over everybody else. It, it, it allows them to gain control over you. It also allows them to feel superior, over you, feel superior over you. So how do you combat this? Well, number one, if you're with the narcissist, you need to just leave. And I know that that's not easy, but make a plan to leave. Work with a therapist, work with whoever you have to work with. It, you have to get away from the narcissist. Because if you start doing what I'm about to tell you and you're with the narcissist, your relationship's going to be over very quickly because they are not going to like this. But especially if you're not with the narcissist and maybe you have to have communication for kids or whatever, you need to do the gray rock method. Okay, The gray rock method is whenever they talk to you, you literally pretend like you are, are an emotionless, emotionless gray rock, meaning that you don't allow them to get underneath your skin. You speak very indifferently, right? Because they're trying to get that emotional reaction so that way they can lure you in and get you super upset so that way they can make you believe that you're the bad person and increase their levels of control over you and feel more superior. But if you don't give them that emotion, suddenly they don't have any supply. And that's why it's going to really upset them if you're still with them. So this is ideally for people that are not with the narcissist but have to stay in contact for kids or whatever reason.